Hey guys, welcome to Breaking Feud, and in this video, I'll be showing you myself. It's not complete yet, but almost done. Uh, there will be certain things that I have to tweak, but this is almost a complete setup, and I kind of do want to show you the tour, so yeah. Obviously, you can tell the bedroom is completely changed from last time I had originally blue walls all over the wall but not anymore and originally i was in a bedroom with the sibling not anymore so i get this whole room to myself so yeah let's start with this setup you've seen this monitor before i, I think i talked about before um but this is a monitor that i've been using as a kid since like um i think 2008 or 9 something like that it's We've had this in the house for a very long time. So yeah, and I'm currently saving money to get a better monitor, but the, um, right now I have it hooked up to the gaming PC. I actually had it hooked up to the TV, but I wanted to keep the Switch hooked up. So I moved my Switch dock from there to here. I might move it back to this so that then I can put this over here because it, it just, it can't format properly. So let me show you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's just keep moving on. Okay, you can see the black borders. I have to scale it to where I'm able to properly fit into this and not, but not be so tiny. So yeah. So I, I have it hooked up to this, to this speaker I had laying around the house. Hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to be on a budget if you're a college student. Um, Razer keyboard. Uh, this gaming mouse. So, yeah, it's a basic setup right now. But this is an amazing PC. A friend of mine helped me with this. So, yeah. And then, obviously, you guys know the MacBook Air M2 chip. Uh, I actually have this in my backpack now because I end up using my iPad at home and then using the macbook whenever i need to go out for somewhere i actually have recently picked this up the batman returns the penguin funko pop it is a funko 2022 summer convention limited edition big fan of this version of i actually love the tim burton batman universe and obviously that version of batman which is michael keaton he's coming back for the flash so i'm Really excited for this. The same basic things, so yeah. Let's go over here. Okay, so currently I have this poster laying on the floor, but this will be up some uh, sometime soon. So yeah. Okay, so this TV, I really wanna talk about it. I just switched to my ultra wide camera. Uh, so this TV essentially is a um, 50 inch TCL uh, Roku TV. Um, I paid, I think, around $430. Um, earlier, um, if you see my er videos from around September till now, it, um, you might have seen a, uh, for only like two videos or something, a 65 inch TV. So originally, the story behind that was, you had just uh, bought a, at that time, TV on deal at Target, Best Buy, and Walmart, and I that t 65 inch TV was a Western uh, Westinghouse TV, but obviously most thing I did a little bit of research and my friend did and realized that it wasn't in terms of all the budget ones weren't reliable and I've I have a couple TCL TVs in the house, um so yeah re reliable it's a reliable brand for like budget products so it's. T cell is really good for uh well known for their budget TVs. This is a 4K TV with HDR, 60 FPS. So this is amazing, and I had my PC hooked up to it. And it's good, but I do have an OLED TV in a theater setup, which I won't show you. But it compare like when I use my iPhone and the Mac, and then. Use this the display quality on this is not as good as my iPhone because it's an old display and compared to that TV, it's obviously not as good because that's a more higher end TV. So use this OLED and whatnot so much better. But 
so far, I mean, it gets the job done. If you're a college student, I think you should pick it up. Um, I will talk more about TVs later down the road. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is a TV. Pretty cool. Um, right now, there's a whole lot of mess going on over here. And this will be fixed a little bit down the road. But let's start with this corner. Obviously, uh, so I got this as a gift, this fake fragrance. Um, this will be open box soon on this channel. I have a Hot Wheels, um, Batman vs. Superman, uh, Batmobile. Um, so yeah. Uh, I have a, I actually have two of the 1966 Batmobile Hot Wheels. Two of these, uh, ones. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it <laughs> over here. And then let's get over here. So I have this Xbox 360 Connect hooked up to this. Over here, I have two lightsabers. These are like, I think around 2010. I think around the time when this was before Disney bought uh, Lucasfilm, you know, which owns Star Wars and Indiana Jones. So yeah, um, I have the 360 over here with the controller, but I used this one because this one works. Um, I done a couple of videos showing my comic collection i will do an updated video about it but yeah um i would say half price bookstore amazing that's where i get all these comic collections um for example this one uh pretty cool this is um action comics number 446 which came out in april of 1975 pretty cool so yeah i get old and new comics from there so yeah so over here is um, a Man of Steel Superman figure, Henry Cavill. Sad to see him leave, so yeah. And then we get over here. So I have the Wii U um, uh, controller tablet, whatever. And the Wii U is actually set up over there, but I'll get to that portion a little bit later. But um, okay, Nintendo 3DS. I do have to get, in, I'm trying to look for a new Nintendo 3DS or the new Nintendo 3DS XL or the new Nintendo 2DS XL. But if you guys have one of them and you guys want to, are trying to get rid of it, hit me up, comment down below or hit me up in the DMs of my Instagram, which is in my bio. So yeah, actually, so I got these, I have this and then games for it. So I bought all of these from, so a couple from Half Price and then all of it from GameStop. So this is GameStop, this is Half Price. And then, yeah, these are all uh, GameStops. So I have Pokemon Moon and Sun, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D, uh, Mario Party DS, Event Lego Avengers, which is in a sense, the tie into the Avengers game or movies from Iron Man 1 to Avengers 2. So, yeah, I have more, um, two more, which actually does have a proper casing for it, which I will get to soon. Okay, so these two slots are reserved for like figures and whatnot. Uh, obviously, I did a video on this Batmobile, the Tumblr. So, yeah, my Lego Batman vs. Superman set. The Terminator, which I actually had for years, I've ha shown it in previous videos. Um, I actually started collecting these Pez figures. Um, and then I have a Funko Pop of the Penguin from Batman Returns. <laughs> the fact that, I've, oh dude, I actually just realized I had two of them. Oh shoot. <laughs> Over here, so I don't have all my Funko Pops, but I do have three um, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, Funko Pops, which is the Black Suit Superman, Dark Side, and the Sun. I don't have those figures placed except for Dark Side. And then the Happy Meal Star Wars uh, figure. I did a video on this. It's on my YouTube channel. These two are my favorite Batmobiles, honestly, of all time. Like, in terms of Lego sets, it's really cool. And then this one is my favorite. I right, so this is for the new Batman movie, which you know it's the same one, and then the DeLorean. Big fan of the DeLorean vehicle. 
Uh, I got this Hot Wheels and then this down there, but I'll get to that soon. So I got the Wii, so this isn't hooked up to the TV because it uses you like the, the um, ports before the HDMI. But obviously if you had the original version of the Wii, it's um, backwards compatible with GameCube uh, games. So I yeah, want to keep that uh, because down the road, once I have enough money to buy enough to buy, have a whole collection, I'm going to buy an older TV to support these and get other consoles. The PS3 Slim. I wish I had the PS3, the normal one, the big fat one, because that was backwards compatible with PS1 and 2 games, but, oh well, PS3. But what's, I actually use this as my Blu-ray player and actually have this remote over here. This is a uh, PlayStation 3 remote. I use this to control this whenever I'm playing movies. So yeah. And then obviously the controller and then I have this. This actually came alongside The Force Awakens back in 2015. I wanted to buy because I know how much Star Wars things resell. So yeah. We covered the Xbox. Interestingly enough, like the newer generations of you know, after these two consoles, the newer generations, which was the PS4 and the Xbox One and then the new series, Xbox Series X and the PS5, they both have, all those four consoles have uh, Bluetooth, I mean, not Bluetooth, Blu-ray compatibility. So I'm hoping um, like down the road, once I have enough money saved up, I might get like at least a PS4 and a xbox one because currently um gamestop has like uh, uh does this thing where they will sell the previous generation previous generation gaming console and trying to collect them and obviously down the road i will get then then i will get the newer generations but i also want a console that also supports blu-ray like 4k blu-ray so that i can watch movies in blu-ray on my 4k tv so yeah so over here let's get to the games uh so obviously these were games that were previously purchased in the family um the only ones i've personally purchased down here is firstly this this game um Troy evolution also going from uh half price but this is not a tie to the game, but it takes place in between the TV shows of Tron Uprising and Tron Legacy. So, yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Um, and then I also bought this from uh, GameStop. Uh, Metroid Samus Returns. Um, pretty cool game. I'm still playing this game, but it's pretty cool. I actually have to buy a lot of digital content because... Um, Here's a short story. I have explained it in a video that I did called, uh, I uploaded a couple days ago, like not too long ago, where it was it was an Amazon video where they tried to scam me, but I also explained what happened with Nintendo, but essentially Nintendo somehow blocked my account to where my Nintendo ID, so my Nintendo ID is linked to this and my Nintendo account, which is used on Nintendo Switches and um, Wii U. And apparently somehow my account got banned by Nintendo for some odd reason. And yeah, they won't unban it. And it's to the point that I have to restart and get like create a whole new account for my Nintendo Switch. And all my game purchases were gone. And I this is why I prefer like physical media over digital content. But there's con digital content I purchased on this that I have on this that I can't even get if I created a whole new account because it was exclusive for periods of, certain periods of time. Like for example, there's a game that came on the eShop on this like way back when um, it was called Zelda Four Swords Anniversary. Can I get that anymore? So I have to keep this and make sure this doesn't crap on me. So yeah, I do have to get a new Nintendo 3DS, one of the, one of the three um, new Nintendo DS lineups, either the normal one, the XL, or the 2DS version. So, yeah.
but yeah so and then so i have these two and then i got this uh which was the nba 2k playground 2 really fun game so yeah um let's go over here so these are our stack of movies that was in our house previous uh, previously owned by family which then i took these stacks are the ones i bought a couple of them i've already included in certain videos but let me go over them move out that way but yeah um i love collecting movies and i think physical media is better i will do a, a video down the road why i prefer physical over digital and the issues with owning digital copies of like movies and video games but yeah that's a whole separate video but no time to die my favorite james bond movie and i've seen this in the theater this was actually my first james bond movies in the theaters really love it um i want to watch i'm trying to get into um, more james bond films starting from sean connery's uh, era to like obviously daniel craig's I've included this in my video, but I own two copies of John Wick. So I let me set this aside. I originally bought this, which is a 4K Ultra HD, which means I own the 4K Ultra HD copy of the movie, so I can view in full 4K uh, movie, a Blu-ray version, and then a digital copy. I have the digital copy and obviously Blu-ray, but I can't play the 4K uh, Ultra UHD, even though I have a 4K TV. And the reason is I need a DVD player or like a gaming console that supports the 4K streaming, which currently the only gaming consoles I have that is more of the recent ones since the Nintendo Switch and then the ones I can play movies are the 360 and the um, PS3. But the PS3 is the only one that can support not just normal DVDs, but also Blu-ray ones. So, yeah. Then, uh, a couple of days later, uh, so I bought this at Best Buy. And then at Target, they have the Trilogy, which was John Wick 1, 2, and 3. And this one comes with not just a digital copy, but the DVD and the Blu-ray. But not the 4K. So, yeah, if it's a 4K copy, it will look more like this with... The bl it will look like a Blu-ray copy, but in black. The normal Blu-ray one will come in this. This doesn't support like 4K, 4K, but yeah, Blu-ray is amazing, and it comes with also DVD. So that means I can put the DVD into the bolt into both the PS3 and the 360 I have, and then digital copy, which obviously can play 4K. I can stream that 4K on my TV, but it's better to have the physical copy because it's just better overall in terms of quality um other ones i own is this is also purchased by half price books the ed noran incredible hulk and it's a blu-ray copy and what i like about this is it's it's green so you got your traditional let me show you your traditional 4k movie which is all blue I mean, not 4K, traditional Blu-ray copy, which is blue on the sides. The 4K version, which is black on the sides. And then the Hulk, Ed Norton's Hulk is green on the sides. Even though it, technically these two would be the same thing, they just add green for fun. So, yeah. And then now we have the Steelbook copy of Spider-Man Homecoming. I love the artwork. Let me open this up. So, it's like this. Obviously, I'm not going to show the digital code, but the disc looks cool. It's, it's Spiderman's mask. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, on this. And then, let's... And then this will be the last Marvel movie I currently own. Uh, that I bought out of my own pocket, which is Spiderman 3, which I bought from Half Price. So, I have 1 and 2. I didn't buy it, but it was a thing where it was bundled in with, uh, like, Spider-Man 1 and 2 were bundled in with um, Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3 in one DVD. So, yeah, and I, I was like, I might as well buy number 3 since I don't have number 3. <laughs> and on top of that, I would add to the collection and complete the whole trilogy. 
of the Spy OG Spider-Man films, and I actually grew up with this movie. I remember the ads, the trailer, the ads for this movie, the trailers, the tie-in like toys and the McDonald's um tie-in um toys for this movie, and it, it was really hype. I remember wanting to see more of the Black Suit Spider-Man and Venom. So yeah, I I kind of have a soft spot for Spider-Man three. And now we're getting to the DC films that I bought with my own money. Uh, firstly is Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice and this is the ultimate cut and this is the full... You should only watch the ultimate cut. That's the true version of this movie. It's, it's underrated, honestly. People give it so much hate, it's underrated. So yeah. Uh, obviously you can't... The Snyder Cut, this is the best version of Justice League. Original crap, this is so much better. This, even those four hours, still worth it. This is true storytelling. And then, obviously, I got this also from Half Price. So, um, this one I got from Target right when this launched on, uh, like, right when this came out physically. Because uh, originally it was an HBO Max exclusive, so you can only view on HBO Max, but when it dropped physically on DVD and Blu-ray and 4K, I picked this up immediately. Um, and then I own this, which is the uh, four uh, four film collection of the Christopher Reeve Superman film. One, two, three, and four. I didn't want to buy all of them separately. Didn't make sense, but I might have to buy the... Um, I do have the Donna cut, so that's its own separate thing. I will make a video, but yeah, so it's... So here's the thing, this, um, let me pull this out. So technically in this film series, it's this movie, this movie, this is the fifth movie within the film series. Technically there is a Super Girl movie that came out a year after Superman uh, 3, um, and before Superman 4. And yeah, this is kind of like this kind of reboot Superman 3 and 4, and this is a drop sequel to Superman 2. And then we have the Donna cut, so it's the director's cut of Superman 2. So just like Snyder, he was fired from Donna, was fired from Superman 2, and couldn't complete the project. But unlike Snyder, he didn't, he wasn't allowed to kind of make his version of Superman 2 until. Years later, so he couldn't finish his film. He only shot like 80%, like around 70 to 80% of this film. So he couldn't finish the whole entire movie and reshoot the whole entire movie and complete, make a new ending for the film. So he had to reuse the ending of the first movie, which he directed the first movie. So yeah. Um, let's see. So movies that I didn't buy are Avatar 1. Labyrinth, amazing film. I would suggest watching. It's amazing. I love the visuals. I love everything. This is true cinema. Toy Story 3, I actually... Okay, I want to make a small PSA to Disney. Disney, you just announced Toy Story 5. This was supposed to be the conclusion. Amazing conclusion. Toy Story 4, unnecessary. I guess it's a good movie to show, like... Like the side adventures, like after the events of this, but this should have been the conclusion. Should have not made any more movies after this. You just announced Toy Story 5. 1, 2, and 3, the whole idea of this was the relationship between the toys and Woody and Andy. There was no need for 4, and then there's no need for 5. You have to make an original content. Stop. Just please stop. This movie, Race to Wish Mountain, I grew up uh, with this movie. This is um, actually technically a reboot uh, of a movie that came out, I think, in the 70s called uh, Escape to Witch Mountain. It had a sequel called uh, Return to Witch Mountain. This one is a reboot called Race to Wish Mountain with Dwayne Johnson. This is at a time when he had hair, his early days in the Hollywood career. So, yeah. The Lord of the Rings movie, the two movies I own, 
uh, another movie. This is a movie you. It's a must watch movie, and it's nineteen seventeen. The best movie of all time. Um, this is honestly on my top five favorite movies of all time. The best war movie and the best storytelling movie with the best cinematography. The guy who did the cinematography for this also did Blade Runner twenty forty nine. He also did um two James Bond movies, two Daniel Craig movies. He also did um a bunch of other amazing movies. So yeah, recommend watching this movie. Okay, Superman Returns. I grew up watching this movie. Um, yeah, it it's it's I think um this uh the Suicide Squad twenty twenty one released version, and the twenty seventeen. Theatrical cut, Justice League are the only DC movies which had a Marvel director attached. So, what I mean is, originally Brian Singer was you know the director of X Men One Two, and then got on board to do this movie, and then went back to doing more X Men movies. Um, obviously, we had Joss Whedon who did the reshoots for Justice League. Uh, he did the Avengers 1 and 2 films, and then we also have, obviously have James Gunn, who's currently running DC, and is releasing his third and final Guardians of the Galaxy movie. He also directed uh, the Peacemaker TV show and the Suicide Squad, and he did Guardians Volume 1 and Volume 2, so yeah. Obviously, the Richard Donner cut, so I have two copies of the movie where... It, the director's cut is better than the original theatrical cut. I mean, the theatrical cut of Superman 2 was, I think, kind of better, but I mean, Warner Bros. screwed them around to the point that they had to release the director's cut of two DC movies, which is sad to hear. And we get to these two last sections. This one has, um, so I bought a Happy Meals, um, box, um, that was attached to Wakanda Forever. Um, obviously a Wakanda Forever tie-in figure. These tend to resell a lot, like, down the road. Um, obviously we got some Avengers Cup and the, um, Star Wars Cups, Theater Cups. Um, this is a Lego DeLorean, which goes around for 200 And then, obviously I got Hot Wheels, um, Honda, I think this is a Accord uh hot wheels uh car and if if you guys know this this is a show that came out in the 70s and kind of had a sequel in 06 called knight rider this is kit an ar talking car this was impressive back in the day now we got the tesla so yeah this was the early day tesla in a sense so yeah and we cannot go without talking about the Batman poster I have. Um, so yeah, I got this off from Amazon. Um, but I do have favor for y'all. Like, a favor for y'all. Uh, people who are watching this, if y'all know how to get official, like, official movie posters, I don't mean, like, get, like, something off from, like, Amazon or eBay to where it's, like, a third-party manufacturing the official poster. I mean, the, like, the first-party official official poster. If y'all know how to get them, please let me know. I'm trying to get them. Because currently, I think the only official one I currently have is this Mission Impossible Fallout poster. Which was a thing where uh, Cinemark was giving those away. away. And then obviously, um, Cinemark was also giving this away. Um, so yeah, but I want an official, like, big um, movie poster that you will see in the theater that... For some more reason, people are able to get them easily, so, yeah. Yeah, so currently over here, let's start with this. My bed, uh, my iPad over here with the, key with the keyboard case. Over here, I keep a journal. I write all my ideas down, like any creative ideas, like a movie idea, a really cool photography idea, anything I keep in a journal. I don't like keeping it over here because... You know, stuff happens and you run out of storage and whatnot. So I keep everything over there because there will be times where if I want to revisit, it's always going to be over there. Where over here, obviously, there's cloud, but then you have to buy more storage and it gets really complicated. Um, 
This is one of my chains I own. I love jewelry, so yeah. Yeah, well, I am wearing a chain, a watch, um, this ring, and then over here, this ring. This one has my initials engraved. The rings I, I'm wearing are silver. This one is titanium, so yeah. This is my camera bag. I keep my MacBook and the charger in there. I actually only keep two USB-C cables, and here's the thing. MacBook and iPad use USB-C. Uh, my Nintendo Switch I always bring with me has USB-C, and I have two battery banks that use USB-C. So I just only carry two USB-C cables. So yeah, and obviously this is a place where people can sit. Also, let's say if no one no one can find my bed because there's a bunch of people. People can, people can also sit over here and move here with the TV. You can close this seat over here, but they can move it up all in front over here. So, yeah. Keep that if I need to reach anything on the top portion of my closet. So, yeah. Obviously, winter cap and gloves. My prayer mat. Shout out to my friend who actually had it custom made to where it shows um, my name in Arabic. So, pretty cool. Uh, my Ray-Ban sunglasses. And then my watch collection, which I will do an updated video on down the road. But currently, I'm wearing this um, watch, which is which Susan discontinued some time ago, and I was able to get this for half off, brand new. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much it for my setup. Um, it's going to change a little bit here and there because uh, this isn't the final one, as you can see. Uh, this isn't clean at all, so. Yeah, and there's more things I want to display, which are kept underneath my bed and in the closet. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, please stay tuned for more content. Hit the thumbs up button. Click, um, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with everyone else. And, yeah, share the channel with everyone else. We're trying to hit a 100 subscribers by, like, September. It'll be better if we hit it, like, before then, um, because it'll be amazing. So, yeah, thank you and stay safe. Yeah.